In this video, we're going to take a look at an attack that Joao Miao uses against Ricardo Vieira in ADCC. So this is Miao right here on the left. And this will be the entry that he goes into 50-50 uh, with. And we'll see two kind of versions of it. First one happens earlier on in the match, which is going to be this one. And then this is the same one that he finally catches Vieira in. So let's take a look at it. He grabs a knee. And then here he gets his foot. There Hikaru Vieira rolls. And then they keep, keep trying to get the heel hook. And then Hikaru is able to escape. Let's take a look at it in slur motion. So what you'll see is the position he's trying to get into is he's trying to get each one of his feet kind of on the outside of Hikaru's hips from both sides. So first he posts the foot on the hip and then he's going to scoot himself in and that foot's going to slide off to the outside, right there. Once he has that leg in position, he's not going to underhook his knee, and then you'll see he's going to connect his hand so that knee can't get away. The next part is, is he needs to get his left leg up over top. He's going to invert. He's going to try to thread it in through here for the 50-50. It's a little bit hard to tell, but right here, Ricardo has, is controlling his shin so that he can't get that leg over. So you can see there's a little bit of a battle there going on with that leg and that hand. Eventually, the foot goes free, and he's able to get in this position. Now here, Ricardo Vieira decides to roll. So as he rolls, Schwa is just able to pull that leg across his body. And then right here, we're in the 50-50. Potentially, he might have saw like a knee bar midway through. Hard to tell. And now he's going to try to hunt for that heel hook to finish the match. And then Vieira is able to escape. So let's take a look a little bit at, at Vieira's response. So again, he goes to roll through. And now immediately this leg of his, his free leg, is going to start trying to kick around here to, to get rid of any grips that could be going on around his heel. And then his arms are trying to control Joao's right arm. So see, he'll get like, an, like a forearm deep grip and he'll break this. So there we go. There's the grip. He's going to get like a, an RNC grip. And once he breaks Joao's grip, his left hand posts right away. And the way he's able to extract himself is really good. Because what he does is he doesn't just pull away, but he's also going to rotate. So he rotates his knee, and you'll see his, his, uh, his hips come up off the mat right there. Just take a look at it one more time. So there he breaks the grip. Post the hand, and then he rotates his leg out. Here he's still in a little bit of a calf slicer position, but eventually he's able to back out of that. So let's take a look at this all one more time. So here we are, Joao gets a, like a tricep grip, foot on the hip, scoots himself in, the foot slides off, he goes to underhook, locks his hands, and then he's trying to get that left leg free Hard to tell if Ricardo lets go or if Joao somehow gets it out. Then here, Ricardo's going to roll through. Joao gets the foot across, is trying to finish. Ricardo's foot starts to come in, latches onto that grip, pops it off, posts his hand, and then extracts his leg out. So this was, I think, the first time he um, Meow attempted it in this matchup. And then we'll see in a moment the second time. Second or third, can't remember. Okay, so it's very similar. He scoots in. Let's play it at regular speed first. There's that grip on the knee. Second leg's coming over. This time Meow's the one that rolls through. He's trying to get that heel. Then, right there, he gets the grip. There's a little bit of controversy as to whether Ricardo tapped or not, but this is how their match finished. Okay. So let's slow it down. We'll see that the beginning is very similar. 
Except this time Yao's gonna control his hand instead of his tricep. But he gets in that same leg position. You can see a different angle here, so each of his legs is on the outside. He's gonna underhook the knee. Grab both hands, start to invert. That leg is coming over, again, to get in through here. But now Hikardo does a different uh, block. So instead of having his right hand on the shin, he gets this underhook. And this like pretty much stops the leg from coming across. And Mia has a very cool answer here. So what he's going to do is he's going to stop this leg from trying to come in. And he's going to use it to pendulum. And Hikardo's weight is going to shift on this shin. And he's going to kind of like fall forward. So he can't get that leg in. There's the pendulum. And then he dumps him over. So one more time. Leg comes across. Cardo underhooks it so he can't get the leg in. Knocks him over. And now even here, this arm is still blocking the leg. So watch how Meow gets rid of it. He's going to take his left hand and boom, he just pops it and clears it off. Now this leg's going to start to make its way around Hikardo's left leg. And in the previous uh, sequence, Hikardo rolls through. But this time he's not doing it. So you'll see Meow does like a kind of barrel roll. Isn't really inverting, he's more rolling on his forehead. And then now they're in the 50-50 position. Okay, so Meow's starting to try to hunt for this ankle. Initially it looks very similar. You'll see that Vieira is gonna control Right there, he's controlling Meow's right hand again. Okay, this leg is still kicking, he's controlling the hand. And then what will happen is Vieira tries to do this one motion to pull his leg out, right there. And he doesn't get his leg out. And as he's trying to pull away, Meow sets him the heel hook. So this time when he's pulling his leg out is different than last time. So he's no longer trying to post his foot and rotate his knee out. It looks like he's just trying to back away. And it looks like he can't get his leg free this time. It's hard to tell if that's the reason. Uh, there's so many different variables going on. The other thing is here Meow has his legs locked. But in the other match, he hasn't. The other thing, it could be something as simple as maybe previously he wasn't really squeezing his knees super tight. But this time after feeling Hikaru escape once, he's really locked onto that leg. Again, you'll see Hikardo, when Meow gets his hand back, it looks like Hikardo gets both his hands on Meow's shin and then tries to like push himself away. Right there. And he can't get his leg out. And Meow gets the grip. So we'll just watch that whole sequence one last time. Regular speed. Boom, gets his legs in position, gets the underhook, locks the hands, arm over. Dumps him over, clears the underhook at his leg, throws his leg over, barrel rolls, starts to go after that heel, Ricardo's on his hand, Joao's going to clear his hand, right there, and he tries to escape, can't get his leg out, and there goes the heel hook.